The original PC version of Mafia quietly appeared on store shelves in the dog days of 2002's summer, and it became one of the year's best action games. Though it superficially resembled some sort of 1930s era Grand Theft Auto, Mafia was a story-driven game featuring excellent on-foot shooting action, as well as surprisingly realistic driving sequences, and overall, an incredibly convincing atmosphere. A year and a half later, an Xbox port of Mafia has finally arrived. Unfortunately, despite the relatively high power of Microsoft's system, this version is closer to the quality of the recently released and not altogether impressive PlayStation 2 version than the PC original. It's still a pretty good Xbox game here and now, but you should be able to find a far superior version of it in your local game shop's PC bargain bin. Like the Grand Theft Auto games, Mafia features a large clockwork city that you may theoretically explore at your leisure, either by car or on foot. The game seamlessly switches between driving and shooting sequences, and should you sustain too much damage to a vehicle you're driving, you may get out and carjack some unlucky soul for his or hers. The superficial similarities pretty much end there. Unless you're playing one of the game's supplemental free ride modes, you probably won't be joyriding around the Prohibition-era, Chicago-style City of Lost Heaven in which the game takes place. That's because the early automobiles featured in this game just aren't much fun to drive. They're clunky, they have poor brakes, and they turn poorly, among other things. In Mafia, you play as Thomas Angelo, who starts out as a taxi driver and soon gets involved with the mob. The story is told in retrospect, in the late 30s, Tommy is confessing the events of his sordid past to a detective in exchange for witness protection. In the PC version of the game, the story unfolded via lengthy cutscenes rendered using the game's impressive 3D engine. On the Xbox, these cutscenes have been rendered out into videos, and they don't look quite as good as they used to. The characters' faces can be very expressive, and the motion-captured animations look great, but characters' hands are stiff like mannequins and their eyes just stare blankly. The PC version of Mafia presented a surprisingly detailed simulation of what it might be like to drive around on old streets and old cars. You needed to obey traffic laws, not exceed the speed limit, stop at red lights, things like that, or else cops in the vicinity might pull you over. The thing is, on the Xbox, these driving sequences lose a lot of their nice detail that, that was present in the PC version, so instead, the driving sequences that were so rich with atmosphere on the PC feel more like a chore here. Fortunately, they've at least been streamlined somewhat in that there are more lenient traffic laws now, allowing you to get where you're going with a little less fuss. In any case, it's pretty easy to navigate the city thanks to the presence of a map that you can instantly switch to showing you where, where you are and where you need to be headed. The game's occasional chase sequences are interesting also, since they're chase sequences in lousy old cars, but they're still not particularly enjoyable. At least Mafia allows you and your cohorts to shoot while driving, which is a nice touch. To be fair, the Xbox version of the game does retain a lot of the original atmosphere, most notably in the sound. There are some excellent ambient sounds, as well as an upbeat and appropriate jazz soundtrack, which features cuts from some of the era's greatest musicians. Like the driving, the shooting sequences also suffer somewhat in translation to the Xbox, partly due to the decline in the graphics and partly due to the controls, which were originally designed with a keyboard and mouse control scheme in mind. Mafia plays like a standard third-person shooter, only without the annoying camera problems intrinsic to many games of this type. The camera here works great. The default third-person perspective seamlessly switches to a first-person point of view whenever Tommy's in a situation where your view of the action might otherwise be obstructed, such as when he's in a narrow hallway. On the other hand, the shooting action is very straightforward and lacking in detail. But Tommy literally has no special abilities to speak of other than his ability to point and shoot. Uh, he can't even perform his lateral roles, which are found in the other versions of the game. For some reason, they were cut for the Xbox. Uh, there's also no detail, really, in the, in the shooting sequences. You don't even see blood when, when enemies are hit by bullets, which was there in the original version, and uh, enemy corpses disappear uh, almost immediately. There are these things like this that sort of drag the presentation down. With that said, Mafia certainly isn't a bad-looking game on its own merits. The character models are actually quite good, and many of the animations are excellent. The game's got a pretty good look to it overall and does capture the style of the period. The audio has naturally survived the translation more intact than the graphics, and by and large it's still outstanding. The voice acting performances aren't exceptional, but they're understated and pretty natural overall. 
Another nice touch is that vehicles all have authentic sounding car horns, and you can sound your horn to make pedestrians get out of your way. Mafia's story mode features about 20 big missions, some longer than others, and once it gets going, it switches up between the driving and shooting pretty effectively, and all in the context of a good story. After that, there are some extras that mostly focus on the driving portion of the game, which unfortunately isn't all that much fun, as mentioned previously. So overall, Mafia for the Xbox is pretty good. If you only played this version of the game, you'd still get a sense of its ambitious nature and you'd enjoy some of its finer points. Then again, you'd also be missing out on the PC version's outstandingly good graphics and even more seamless gameplay experience.